they got that one brain cell they going can process them. something it just is easy to get stuck in a boot loop <laughs> apparently and then they're like it's over bridge <laughs> like dude we must build bridge. a bridge <laughs> Welcome to another Two Core Reacts. Uh, we are here with Nate in the podcast studio, Ooh. reacting to some things. I don't know what yet. We don't know, but we're here reacting because you guys love it, so we're here. Reduces the indigo carmine from green to red to yellow. Okay. That's the reason for the color change. So there we've drawn out the different stages of the molecule for you. Sure. And there we have our final solution. Starts out yellow. Give it a little shake. Yellow. Red. Red. Some oxygen oxidizes that indigo carmine up to red. The so sugar reduces it back to yellow. It's a nice white background. The is shake. We go through red and get to green. Mm -hmm. And as it sits, the sugar reduces it from green down to red. And then if we let it sit, That's so pretty. it will come back to yellow. Interesting. Does that work forever, I wonder? Like how, I, I bet it doesn't, but I like, I wonder how long it will keep working. Yeah, well, I mean, he said he has to oxidize it, so probably when yeah. the oxygen runs out. But, but like assuming, you know, you, you left it there for like three weeks and then yeah. like, aha, new oxygen and is that all you need is just add more air and shake it up? That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and it was like sugar. That was pretty pretty though. Yeah. Pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. <laughs> Toilet paper, sure. Going for static electricity? Yep. Ah, yes. Oh, cha, that was cha, quick. Cha. Uh, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, we've seen that. What's his into name? strips. Those are really tiny strips What's to cut that into. The, we saw another one where they did it with a like a grocery bag and they just made it hover. Yeah. He like stripped it so it was like, like a cat that's just like... Uh, I, it's still I think static that, electricity, still cool. uh, Yeah, it's very plausible. It's obviously, I think that I don't think he's faking that, and I have yeah. seen other demonstrations of it, but it's pretty fun to see. I haven't seen one like that though. That like they shredded it, like he did. I've seen something similar. I don't know if they shredded it or if they had something that was already just like that loose and yeah. airy. But that's pretty cool. I like it. Nifty. These are army ants, and they are making a uh. living bridge of their own kind in order to invade and conquer a hornet's nest. What might be the most terrifying is that these creatures can actually kill and eat a hundred thousand animals a day. It's even been rumored that they can kill and eat things like cows and even people. Why? How there many of them does it take? What an like are we saying across the world they kill and eat a hundred thousand animals a day? Like just that one colony? Because if so, we need to destroy that colony, absolutely. Like, yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, is it just this one army all, is killing? All the army ants in the world, maybe. Um, I mean, I've But heard, not this one army. I've heard the ants in the world are supposed to outweigh the humans in the world. There's just that many of them. Boy, I hope they aren't killing and eating a whole lot of humans a day. That'd be terrifying. Are we, like, mostly centipedes, mostly cows? Which way are Hornets. we going here? Yeah. I do also want to say that, so they've got That's this, so like, hanging impressive. bridge here, which is very impressive uh, from an engineering standpoint. But I want to say this is like the absolute pinnacle of working hard, not smart. They don't need to form a chain at this point. They can just walk across the, the, ceiling. the awning. Yeah. Oh, there's a word for that overhang bit. They can walk across it instead. Maybe they came there from somewhere where they needed to bridge, but now they're it just, just like got a little extra. wasting a lot of energy. They got into a pattern. Look at them. They were all so excited to be a part of the bridge. Maybe that's just it. Let Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen the videos of like the the ants in a death spiral? Oh my gosh, yeah. They like just go and sort of. Yep. So obviously ants don't have much in the way of brains. I'm not actually sure that they have brains. I'd have to look into that. I think they gotta have little itty bitty puny brains. Maybe they might just have some or nerve just have cells that, like, that just run strength. everything on. That's true. Like because they don't have much in the way of organs. That's they're like just jellyfish. Like, they don't just have like, a brain. Jellyfish don't have brains. Starfish don't have brains. Yeah, they just go. Did you check if ants yeah, have brains? Their brain only has 250,000 neurons. Is that all? Wow. We have billions. Billions. Okay, so they're dumb brained. They got that one brain cell. They going can process for them. something. It just is easy to get stuck in a boot loop, apparently, <laughs> and then they're just, like, "It's over." Bridge. <laughs> like, dude, we must build a bridge. 
Gear things we discovered more recently than you think part two. We didn't know that a meteor killed the dinosaurs until 1991. That's the same year that Home Alone came out. We didn't know how anesthesia worked until 2020. We were just ragdolling people into unconsciousness with no idea how what? it actually worked. We didn't sequence the human genome until four months ago. We had not mapped one human's full DNA until May 2021. The Human Genome Project, which completed in 2003, yeah, they were missing 15% of DNA base pairs. Very bold of them to, to call that complete. That's like a frat guy in a group projects version of complete. <laughs> okay, 1991. Uh, Is that when they, we discovered the meteor? We discovered it before I, that. I think we knew about the impact because the it's basically hole. the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. You can literally see it. Can we get a um, map picture on here? Because <laughs> you can literally see the chunk. Well, what we're seeing now is is not really from no, the media. No, it's not, like it's but like, it's been it's too the... long after that. Um, I've seen renders of like what the crater looked mm -hmm. like when it hit, and it's freaking cool. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd be interested in looking into what, uh, you know, what about it yeah. uh, made them so There's sure. There's a lot of in info here. That's also interesting to me because I've, I love the movie Jurassic Park, which came out in 1983, so like they were obviously filming it like shortly after that. Yeah. You know, and then Michael Crichton had to write the book first, mm -hmm. which means he was probably writing it in 91. So that's there is a scene in there where they talk about the different theories of what killed off the dinosaurs. Yeah. And I do remember, I think that it was already a theory. Cause I, it was I remember, a theory, because I learned about it in school. I, mean, I, was, which... I was born in 86, so I guess I would have been five at that point. So maybe I was not learning about it until mm -hmm. here. Uh, but I remember like the different theories were just like yeah the meteor you know sent all the dust into the air and you Set know into a nice fire age. and yeah it got too cold. I remember theories about mammals becoming more popular and mm -hmm. then just they were sort of a plague on the earth that ate all the dinosaurs' eggs. And then of course they talk about in the movie, uh, Doctor Grant has the theory that they they disappeared because they evolved into birds. Yeah, and he isn't wrong. wrong. It's yeah. not that every dinosaur died out from the meteor. It's not that they got obliterated. It's yeah. that the ones that survived are the ones chickens. predominantly that turned into birds. And and yeah, They're we obviously have, chickens now. I mean, an ostrich is not far off. No. We didn't know how anesthesia worked until 2020. We were just ragdolling people into unconsciousness with no idea so they, how it actually they, I don't know anything about that, but they, that seems absurd. Yeah, I assume that means they didn't know the mechanism by which, obviously they knew how to yeah. do it. And they'd been doing it for hundreds of years to some degree or another, you know, Obvious, lot, yeah. them or just anything that's better than hitting them on the head or Knock getting them out. wasted. But yeah, the exact mechanics of it. And I think that's actually not too uncommon. There are other drugs yeah. that I've heard work that same way. We're like, look, we've we tested it, it. It's working. There's no bad side effects. Not We're not 100% sure how it happens. So, okay. It's still a little scary, but we didn't sequence the human genome until four months ago. We had not mapped one human's full DNA until May 2021. The Human Genome Project, which completed in 2003, yeah, they were missing 15% of DNA I think base pairs. Was a part of Very that. bold of them to, to call that complete. That's like a frat guy in a group projects version of complete. All right. I uh, heard that ending. I didn't know that. I thought it was sooner than that. Yeah. I guess I guess I heard the Human Genome Projects when they said that they were done, and apparently weren't. 100% truthful about that. I'm not in that world enough to get the implications of now it's 100% yeah. mapped. I don't know what changes as a result of that. Uh, you can ask my sister. Good, She's studying I guess. this. Um, Which... good, for, good for them Go successfully genetics. mapping those genes. Nuclear reactor. Yep, that is a reactor going Look critical. Look at it. Turning on. That ghostly blue glow that you're seeing there is called Cherenkov radiation. And it's basically a sonic boom but for traveling faster than light hmm. rather than traveling faster than sound. Now, how does that make any sense? Nothing can move faster than the speed of light, right? Nothing can move faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. But when light's traveling through a medium, like the water in that tank, it slows down quite a bit. And in a big nuclear reactor like that, you can absolutely have particles that travel through that medium faster than the light can. And when that happens, it produces that eerie blue light that we call Sherenkov radiation. And it is freaky as hell to think about, man. That's so pretty though, look at Watch it. Watch it again, yeah. That's cool. It's beautiful. That is cool. Um, yeah, I don't I know, know enough about it. I mean, I grew up on a lake that we had a nuclear reactor and the lake was literally built for the nuclear reactor to cool it, so. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, water's great for cooling, can absorb 
massive amounts of heat yeah. and it's actually really, really good at absorbing just radiation like, yeah. itself. So you could have something deadly radioactive, like, oh, if you touch this, you're close to it. You're gonna die yeah. in eight minutes or something like mm -hmm. that. You throw that under 30 feet of water you're good. and you could swim at the top of that water yeah. and we do it swim probably on wouldn't even lake. affect you. I doubt they actually have the reactor in the lake. They don't, I imagine they they're don't. Pumping it yeah, yeah, yeah. from and back into. Does that heat the lake? Um, no, it doesn't, but there's some ah. gnarly fish. <laughs> <laughs> like, especially right. by the nuclear I power was, plant, there's some gnarly fish up there. I was recently in Hawaii, I was on Oahu, and there's a place that gets called Electric Beach because it's right across the street yeah. from the power plant, and they do pull ocean water in mm -hmm. as cooling and vent it out and out by the vents where the extra warm water comes out. Yeah. I know like fish gather a lot because yeah, like, sure. ooh, even warmer water, even though all the water is warm. so. They're just getting greedy at that point, I think. Yeah, I think it's a little different because ours is a man-made lake. So like theirs is just constant from the ocean where ours is just gotcha. the lake. But I mean, I mean, it does get pretty toasty in the summer, but that's just because it's a lake and yeah. you know, that's how nice warm do. area. Cool, cool. But that's beautiful. I also wonder, he's talking about the, the blue from the radiation because there's sort of a flash right at the beginning, but it, yeah. stays, it stays blue. Yeah, so it holds the color. Is it still? shooting particles faster than the light is moving through the water. Is that why we're continuing to see the yeah, color? Yeah, yeah. Or is it just a burst of that radiation and then, no, it just also glows blue the whole time. Like yeah. maybe maybe the radiation was that first wave. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. And the but color's like the byproduct. It's, it's still thing. cool. It's awesome, I dig it. Guys, if there are any other videos you want to see us react to, make sure you send them to us on all of our social media platforms. We are all over the place and we would love to react to them. That's all I got. Do this it. was great. We gotta react to more stuff. We love reacting. It's our favorite thing to do. <laughs> See you guys next time.